Yeah, yeah, it's your boy UG coming at you from the new house, the new crib. Y'all, I'm all blinged out. I'm excited. Be jealous. I earned this shit, y'all. I fucking earned this shit. We got the hallway. We got the new studio going on. We got everything oh, going on. God. God, shit. Why do you have a camera? Because I've earned it. You never unpacked me after we moved, you jerk. I was just thinking that it's been awfully peaceful around here. Do you know how long it took me to get out of there? Not long enough. I had to train my harpy ladies to claw the inside of the box until we could get out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We? As in there's harpies loose now? <laughs> Good job, Eugene. Just No, great. no, hey, that's your fault, asshole. We both know why you left me packed on purpose. You're scared of my dueling expertise? If there's anything about you that I'm scared of, Eugene, it's your luck. Yeah, because I'm so lucky having been trapped inside of a box for months. With your favorite deck. Plus, you're the only duelist out there that's ever won a match by winning only one out of three games. Speaking of which, I did remember to turn Slim back to normal, right? Hey, you know what? I might actually be good luck because I beat that loser twice now. <laughs> See? You're more powerful than you think you are, Eugene. You could have gotten out of that box a lot sooner if you would have just tried and put your mind to it. You're right. I spent way too much time chasing bird girls. Starting today, right now, I'm practicing with my competitive deck non-stop until I drop. Competitive deck? Black Wings! The other Yu-Gi-Oh! Birds of Prey. And when I'm done with that deck, it will be the best. And I will be unstoppable! <laughs> This is not Jason and the Argonauts! I told you! Do not let the harpies out! Please stop making more work for me! So the Cyber Style Strike Style Style Strike Structure Cyber Structure deck is coming out in July. The stipe. So, so guys, the stipe. All right, guys. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be a back. Make this again. Kind of like bread, you know, toast, I should say. They yeah. got him into toast. It was like, just right? cook yeah. it again. Same thing with this. Cook this again and make it into a more modernized fusion for Cyber Dragons in that Cyber Strike Structure deck. A little bit more generic. The Cyber Strike Cyber Style Strike Structure deck is coming out in July. Cyber Strike Strike Style Structure. Say it 20 times fast, whatever you do, you have to say it. Speaking of cooking it, cook it again, I'm gonna record this again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this in. It was fried. This All is right. the Kevin. I am the Kevin. So how is Konami going to combine the awesome power of Cyber Dragons, the best deck of all time, with Cyber Darks that are not as good? How are they going to do it? No, seriously, seriously. How are they going to combine those two decks? Because have you tried to combine those two decks together? Have you ever tried to just naturally build Cyber Dragon, you know, Cyber Dark Cyber Dragon with what's available? Even with the cards that they did come out with later in like 2017-ish or whatever, you can't do it. It is painful, it sucks, and Cyber Dragons are way better on their own. That being said, that is why I keep suggesting a machine duplication searcher, just because I already got us a power bond searcher. And what? They come out with another power bond searcher? I, I, I would be. That, that's the thing, guys. I would be way more excited about the new power bond searcher if Pharos wasn't already. Guys, I memed a power bond searcher in Pharos years ago all they did was make another one a better one but one that still sucks anyways machine duplication searcher will it help cyber darks no 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 but cyber dragons would get way better <laughs> you guys uh, saw him in the um anti-bullying video uh, he did with me and you also saw him in the last uds video they only there's no two yes. yeah um low roll low roll <laughs> <laughs> no cook cook this again or, or cook the Mega Fleet again. Uh, so Mega I think the Mega Fleet needs to be cooked again. Yeah? Because if it could be any extra deck monster, 
instead of an extra monster's own monster. Yeah. You guys are going to be asking yourselves, well, how is machine duplication going to help cyber darks and cyber dragons come closer together? How is that going to mesh the strategies together when the cyber darks aren't targets? The machine duplication searcher is not for cyber darks at all. It is not for meshing them together. I just want that card. That is it. And you guys will be like, they're not going to do that. Well, here's the thing. They might be coming out with more cyber dragon support in the structure deck than you think. Simply because it might not be possible to combine cyber dragons and cyber darks in a way that's actually worth buying the structure deck. Unless they just overly support one and have the other as a gimmick. In other words, they support cyber dragons, come out with new cards for cyber dragons, and then throw some cyber darks in there just for the cyber dark players. I think that that might be what happens. If you guys think that that is nuts, Think about the Rise of the True Dragon Lord structure deck. The Rise of the True Dragon structure deck, the Felgrand structure deck. Think about that. Think about everybody who only bought that structure deck for the blue eye support. Think about people playing Felgrands or trying to now. And everybody and their dog bought that for the blue eyes deck. Everybody and their dog bought that structure deck for the spell card that was really good and is still really, really good in blue eyes. This could be one of those situations. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope, I really, really hope that they come out with some crazy unique cards. Some just very, very unique cards that are able to match the two decks together. But I just don't see that happening. Because if have you read Cyber Dark cards, a lot of them have references to dragons and stuff like that. And I get it. But Cyber Dragons are machines. So when you have Cyber Darks referring to dragons, and the Cyber Dragon main deck monsters are machines, and the Cyber Dragon extra deck monsters are also machines. They're either going to do something really, really amazing, or they're just going to throw it out like another set and call it Cyber Strike. And that's what we discovered is that ever since the uh, rule change, um, this card is not as powerful. I mean, yeah, it could still add a Link monster, you know what I mean? Like, I, Dragon Link would be the only deck that's really effective. Ex exactly, because uh, playing against Shadals, this card useless. needs to be cooked again. Useless. Yeah. Uh, this is better because I'm playing just a Kiru. Um, out the window, Jizz. Spec Cyber Dragon. You have to Jizz on window. You have to Jizz on window. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, that we do know a few of the cards that are coming out in Cyber Strike. And some of them are already designed to support both decks. And there might be some staple cards that end up being played in both decks, but there might be two major variants or a few major variants of Cyber Dragons that come out after the structure deck and Cyber Darks that come out after the structure deck. In other words, there's going to be cards. There might be a Cyber Dragon deck, a more, you know, like what we know, and a newer Cyber Dark deck that we haven't seen yet. But both of these decks might play similar cards from this new structure deck. Let me explain and talk about that. Like this new card that we know is coming out called Attachment Cyber. It's a level three light dragon effect monster, 1600 attack, 800 defense. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target one dragon or machine cyber monster you control, equip this card from your hand or field to that target. You see, dragon or machine cyber monster. So already combining dragons, machines, a concern I already voiced earlier in this video. A monster equipped with this card gains 600 attack. If this card equipped to a monster is sent to the graveyard, you could target one other dragon or machine cyber monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. I will say that if they are to combine cyber darks and cyber dragons with the cyber strike structure deck, then they're going to have to come out with more cards like cybernetic horizon. That is a very good spell card with a very promising start. Maybe that signifies that there are greater things on the horizon, like the combination and the final fusion of these two great decks, these two great archetypes that have been around for our childhoods, right? However, if they don't come out with more cards like Cybernetic Horizon and Attachment Cybern, it's going to be more how I'm saying. It's going to go down more how I'm describing, where there's going to be some cards that are for both Cyber Darks and Cyber Dragons in the structure deck, but also cards respectively for each deck. This new theorized Chimera Tech card that we're talking about needs to be, um, needs to require one Cyber Dragon plus a monster summoned from the extra deck. I, th I think, or like that, that way it could be from either side of the field, a monster summoned from the extra deck. Yeah. So you could right. Chimera from, Tech. Yeah. yeah. So your, your field or their field. Exactly. Matter. That would be optimal. You, that would be nuts actually. Yeah, it'd be 
Compare like pair that with Verte. Yeah, Oof. that's what I want. I want uh, that's that's the purpose of this video. Uh, I would be uh, you know saying I would have been saying what I want in the structure deck this whole time, but as you guys know, I was moving into this new place. So um, I guess that I'm making up for lost time by saying <laughs> right now. Machine duplication search card. Just because I want to claim machine dupe as a yeah. cyber dragon card, just like I already claimed power bond as a cyber dragon card. Yeah, it might as well be. It, it, that's that's it's that's my that view. That's yeah. my view. I'm yeah. biased though. You're not biased, and you just said it. So. <laughs> I mean, it might as well be. What else are you playing power bond in? Ancient Realist years. Realistically. Ancient years. Realistically. Nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other cards we know about is Eternal Cyber. It is a quick play spell card. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. Target one machine cyber fusion monster in your graveyard. Either return it to the extra deck or special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. This card's very good because it allows you to have more room in your extra deck. If you can recycle monsters from your graveyard back into the extra deck, you don't have to play two copies of a card in the extra deck, for example. You can just put that one copy back in the extra deck, opening up a slot in your extra deck for another card. Pretty good. Effect number two, if a machine cyber fusion monster you control would be destroyed by battle or effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead. Those effects, those graveyard effects on spells have becoming have been becoming for years now more prevalent in Yu-Gi-Oh! And they are very handy. Your opponent will forget about them. Make sure that you don't, because <laughs> I have before. I actually really like cards like this. I play a card like this um, in Cyber Dragons already in the side deck in the form of Slumber, because right now I'm maining three Jizakiru. Might as well side Slumber if you're maining three Jizakiru. You can also, you know, main Slumber if you wanted to. Uh, but in my experience, uh, Jizakiru is just fantastic. I like I like it over Lightning Storm and stuff. Um, not just because of Chimera Tech. You know, that's obvious. But because Lightning Storm doesn't kill Winda, Jizakiru does. You can jizz all over that bitch. <laughs> so I guess to go along with the point that I made earlier, these two cards are generic enough to be played in Cybers and Cyber Darks, right? Those might be, and these might be examples of some of the cards that are generic in the structure deck that can go both ways like I was briefly explaining earlier. In other words, the Cyber Strike structure deck might not actually fully combine the two styles as much as you think into one uniform deck, but rather would come out, rather might come out with support for both decks respectively with a few cards that can be played in both. And also I'd play Power Bond if the Cyber Dragons floated better. I mean, we have Hurts that floats, but Cyber Dragons need something else that floats. Because I mean, it, that, that, that may sound crazy, but he's playing should all invoke whatever. Yeah, invoke Shaw. Have you have you seen that the whole deck floats, <laughs> the whole thing? Yeah. So why can't Cyber Dragons have another card that floats? I think that is most likely what's going to happen. Um, it's just kind of smarter to do things that way. Um, it makes more people happy, and um, I mean not to mention in the anime. If I remember correctly, didn't Zane Truesdale like throw away Cyber Dragon? He didn't throw him away, but he like dropped and then switched to Cyber Darks because he was like, oh, emo, you know, he's, he's all edgy and <laughs> whatever. You know, he's going through that phase in the anime. So, just saying, maybe they're not meant to go together. And since they're not meant to go together, and since I'm theorizing right now that there might be, you know, support for each deck respectively, Machine dupe searcher, anybody? I'm just saying, I successfully, once and for all, claimed Power Bond as a Cyber Dragon card. Because the Cyber Dragon support is what turned into the Power Bond searcher, not Ancient Gear support or anything, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was me. I'm sitting here thinking, we might be able to claim Machine Duplication as a Cyber Dragon card permanently as well. Big opportunity here. I've been tweeting about this. I've been thinking about a machine duplication searcher because I just love that card. Everybody hates that card, but I love that card. It's very, very, very good. So Cyber Dragons need that, or you don't need to cook either of these cards again. You don't need to cook either of these cards again, and we could just have the kind we could just have good old Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. If, if you made a spell card, if they made a spell card, right? Yeah. That says DNA surgery. A spell card, DNA surgery. Turn everything to machines, summon a cyber dragon, coom, fortress dragon. Yeah. And that sounds crazy, but it's not crazy when we have things like evenly matched, and when we have lightning storm, which is heavy storm, or, sorry, it's feather duster and Raigeki in the same card. Machine duplication is such a great, I guess you could say backup card. Let's say you have a cyber dragon deck, a cyber dragon synchro deck more similar to mine, and your opponent ashes your needle fiber. 
or something. Your needle fiber stopped. You're not able to continue your place in, in the order you'd like, right? But you still have the core on the field via the uh, combo that I've showed you guys. You don't really care that your opponent negated your needle fiber if you have a machine dupe in your hand still because you can still go Nova, Infinity, Al Mirage. Machine duplication has so many uses in so many decks, but let's be real. When you think about machine dupe, what do you think of? Do you think of some little machine monster and then, you know, you clone it? Or do you think about Cyber Dragon Core, Cyber Dragon Hurts? and bringing out two level five cyber dragons. Which do you think of first? I I mean, I might be biased here. Actually, I am very, very, it's not a might. I am very biased here. <laughs> very, very biased. But to answer the question for you, because you know the answer, you think of the two cyber dragons coming out. Everybody does. I, I, I don't care which one. You know what? Make spell card DNA surgery or make the machine duplication surgery or both. Because that's what, I mean, like cyber dragons or, or the new chimera tech or all of the above, because those are things that the Cyber Dragons need. I guess the machine duplication searcher is not needed, it's just something I'm trying it's, to force. It'd be force. nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to force it'd it. Because nice. I'm just sitting here thinking like, what are what are cards that are only played in this deck? Machine Dupe and Power Bond. Yeah. I'm just gonna claim them. So in closing, all I'm really saying here is don't be disappointed, angered, or surprised if the two decks, Cyber Darks and Cyber Dragons, don't get merged with the structure deck. I'm sorry if you wanted to see that since watching the anime when you were a kid or, or whatever, but in all likelihood, it's it's probably not going to happen. I think that you, there, will, there will be some rudimentary way to combine the decks together via the generic cards that I've already mentioned and you know that they've already um, revealed, but I think it's going to be more like there will be one more prevalent build or one more prevalent deck out of the two, and there'll be a build of that deck that everybody goes with and is objectively the best, just like with any other deck from any other format ever. And that's all I'm really saying. So it's in oh, mind. Dude, that, that would be even better. It's in mind. A cyber, a cyber spell card that's DNA surgery? Yeah. That'd be stupid. You would out everything just by playing Cyber Dragons. That'd be just like broken. For the rest of this turn, all monsters yeah. on board or machine or something. Yeah. Like a, a, a quick play mm -hmm. that you could... Because you can do a lot of things with that if it's quick right. play. And it would actually also create a generic engine for people. Remember back in the day? And people still do this sometimes. Citing Cyber Dragons and stuff just for Chimera Tech? For Mega Fleet and stuff like that? Yeah. Imagine citing Cyber Dragons and having that searchable... This theoretical searchable DNA surgery. Because that would be, a, like, that'd be that, so good. That would be for, that'd be generic for everybody. That would be so good. I, of course, will make another video about the structure deck when we actually know all the cards that are in the structure deck. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, I just I just don't think that I am. And I think it's actually more advantageous for Konami, like I stated earlier, to kind of get two birds stoned at the same time, make everybody happy, you know, come out with support for both, and then just naturally through the players the best deck will be found and uh, standardized. And then everybody will go with that. Um, most likely it'll be a Cyber Dragon deck because uh, Cyber Dragons are already established. But the Cyber Dark support could be that good to where people just switch from Cyber Dragons to Cyber Darks. I don't see that happening because all the Cyber Dragon cards are so much better. They're gonna have to come out with some really sick shit for Cyber Darks to be anywhere close. But I wouldn't be opposed. I wouldn't be opposed. Um, either way, I'm still gonna be playing Cyber Dragons, and I, I don't care, y'all can play Cyber Darks if they end up being the best, I'm still gonna be playing Cyber Dragons because I'm Cyber Dragon Daddy and we all know it. Subscribe! <laughs>